objective of the invasion is to secure a beachhead in Normandy, then capture the port of Cherbourg. In the first hours of D-Day, paratroopers will drop behind coastal defenses to isolate the beaches. Meanwhile, 5,000 ships carrying the main assault forces will rendezvous in mid-channel to await H hour. At 6.30 a.m., small landing craft will take the troops to the five invasion beaches. The Americans will land at Utah and Omaha. The British and Canadians at Gold, Juno, and Sword. Twelve miles out, the Allied fleet transfers the men to small landing craft, which will circle until 5 a.m. It is no longer the war of generals and admirals. It is now the war of the men. Now, ten minutes to six. As the first waves of men head for the shore, the Navy's giant guns begin to open fire on Rommel's coastal batteries and beach emplacements. Finally, the beach is secured, and succeeding waves of men pour onto Omaha. Commanders who were ready to write off Omaha as a total failure now say the victory is a miracle. Good morning, Warriors. I am Tashay. And I am Eric. And welcome to the Dub Hub, a Windsor High School news show produced by students for students. The Hub is where we bring you all things happening in the WHS community. Today is a B-Day. There will be advisory on Friday for underclassmen for Chromebook collection, and today is the last day for late buses. Finals begin next week for underclassmen, so study hard and finish strong. Good luck, Warriors. Tonight is the annual Windsor High football spring game at 5 p.m., Come on out and get a look at our Warrior athletes as they prepare for next season. Admission is free. Congrats to our senior, James Farouk, who turned his vision into reality of bringing casual fitness to his community for his Eagle Scout project. James created an update for Windsor Center River Fit Trail. Good job, James. Seniors, exams this week will be held in the auditorium. Please be sure to arrive on time. You will be required to enter and leave through the Red Tile Lobby on those days. On Monday, June 10th, you will take your 1A and 2A exams in your classroom with your teachers. Any questions, please see Ms. Duras in A108. To all seniors participating in the graduation ceremony, all caps and gowns will be distributed during lunch today. However, if your loss of credit hours are not completed, you will not be able to participate in the graduation ceremony. Hours must be completed by today. Additionally, you must pay your outstanding fines and debts before June 13th or you will not receive your diploma. <clears throat> Students who have signed up for the HDFS slash UConn class with Mr. Chris's should see him in room D107 for the summer assignment. There's a meeting for all students taking AP statistics next year, today after school in room E121. Summer work will be distributed. The meeting will begin at 2.30 and will last 10 minutes. Please see Mr. Cullen if you are unable to attend. Any student who is registered to take grade 12 AP Literature and Composition class next year shall report to room D212 today for an after school meeting where you will receive your summer reading assignment and books. Please see Mr. Hooley or Ms. Monroe if you have any questions. Attention all sophomores who are enrolled in AP Language and Composition for the fall, there will be a mandatory meeting today after school in D218. You will be receiving your summer reading assignments at this time. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Sola, Ms. Narkowitz, or Ms. Boyle. If you are interested in trying out for the 2019 fall cheerleading team, trials will continue today from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the rubber gym. Interested in taking a trip to New York? Interested in seeing the United Nations? Then join the brand new model UN this fall. The new Windsor High chapter is looking for members who care about international relations and politics. Email or see Ms. Hammerstrom at A204 for more information. That's all for today. Thanks for checking out our show. We are respectful. We are responsible. We are proud. We are warriors. <laughs>